Hello class, welcome back in this another online lecture about this course Macro Perspective of Tourism and Hospitality. So in the previous discussion, we discussed about the institution, the Ball Island State University, the vision, and we also talk about the mission and the basic information like course code, course title, prerequisite, component, program and year, course credits, contact hours per week, college or department, and semester academic year, and the faculty. In the previous discussion, we also talk about the different goals of our institution. So we have six goals. And we talk also about the core values of our institution. We have five here. And we also talk about the institutional graduate attributes, which is innovative and virtuous professionals and we also discuss about the program educational objectives and lastly we discuss also about the program outcomes we have the program outcomes based on the CMO 62 series of 2017 and we discuss also about the program outcomes or the POs we have six POs also and we discuss also about the course outcome in relation to program outcomes the course outcomes okay so we discuss about the 10 course outcomes from demonstrate knowledge until envision future directions as you can observe in the right side we have here the um, letter I, E, and letter D. So the I stands for introduce an introductory course to an outcome. And E stands for enable. And A stands for course that strengthens the outcome. And we also have D stands for demonstrated. It means a course demonstrating an outcome. So that is the meaning of the letter here in the right side of the course outcomes under program outcomes or POs. So now let's proceed about the discussion of course description. Again, when we hear the word course, it means um, just like what we have um, always talked about. We call it the subject. But according to the right term, it is a course. Okay, again. Your course on my class is Macro Perspective in Hospitality and Tourism and your program is Hospitality Management or Bachelor of Science in Hospitality Management. So we'll discuss about the description of the course Macro Perspective. According to the definition in the syllabus, this course is designed to give a clear and whole overview of tourism and hospitality as an ecosystem and goes beyond the usual close concept of tourism. So we will discuss the whole overview of tourism and hospitality. And it introduces the concept and terms that are common throughout the different sectors. So there are different sectors uh, that can affect or can be affected by the businesses under the tourism and hospitality industry. It also intends to develop and update and maintain the local knowledge as well as tourism industry knowledge. Okay, so you will be updated, your knowledge will be developed and you will maintain the local knowledge as well as the tourism industry knowledge again the course macro perspective it is only a lecture we don't have demonstration compared to other courses so it is focused more on the knowledge area so we will develop your knowledge we will give you more information about the whole overview of tourism and hospitality also, it shows the structure and scope of tourism as well as the impact of tourism as an industry in relation to the world economy and society. Again, this is one of our major discussion. We will 
discuss or I will show to you the structure and scope of tourism. Okay? Not just the structure and scope of tourism, but also what are the impacts of tourism and hospitality industry in relation to the not just for the uh, world economy and society but also in different sectors or areas in our society also it illustrates the effects of the convergence of tourism with the other local industry and lets the students you the, as a students will appreciate its multiplier effect on various fronts okay so again because of the rising tourism and hospitality industry it is expected that it will affect the surrounding industry or sectors so we will also talk about that and it we will discuss the major factors that influence the history and future of tourism in the world and in the philippines so again we are living in the present um, time so we will discuss also the history not just the history but also the future of tourism and hospitality in where in the world not just in the world but also in the philippines so for example we discuss about the effects of hospitality and tourism to the economy so we will not just discuss about the economy or world econo economy but also we will discuss the economy in the Philippines in our country also I will introduce the sustainable goals of tourism and hospitality and we will discuss among others and how to develop protective environments for children in tourism and hospitality destinations and also we will observe and perform risk mitigation activities etc so we will also discuss on how to protect our environments uh, especially in the tourism destination so what uh, you can observe or you can notice that the focus of our discussion is more on the whole overview of tourism and hospitality and how this industry affects the different sectors or affects the different groups in our society and you can also observe that this topic is really intended for the managerial position so you as a student were prepared in this program to become knowledgeable um, especially when you are going to pursue the managerial position in your future work so the students will also learn you the students will also learn to appreciate the key global organizations and the rules they play in influencing and monitoring tourism trends so again the key word here is appreciate so we will not just increase your knowledge or develop your knowledge about the tourism hospitality the whole over overview of this sector and how this sector affects the other sectors that surrounds this industry but also as a faculty and part of this institution we will also want to develop you the effective part that you will appreciate the key global organizations and the rules that play in the influencing among and monitoring tourism trends so you must know the tourism trends the latest uh, for example the system the structure and others so these are the definition or description of the course course macro perspective now let's proceed to the um, in this part this table we have the subtitle here course outcome learning objectives content and course matter time frame teaching and learning activities and assessment tasks and lastly the remarks so on this side these are the learning objectives and this the course outcome we, uh, when you see the c01 it means course outcome number one so we have course outcome here at the top demonstrate knowledge so you can observe there are c01 and c02 etc 
and on this part the learning objectives so this is our objectives of our learning on this particular topic for example we will not read all of this because we only have limited time so i will just give some um, example again in our um, previous face-to-face -face class i discussed to you about the classroom policies the school policies of the institution the vision mission goals and objectives of our um, institution so our objectives on that discussion is you must um, gain holistic and comprehensive understanding of the school and classroom policy so it's uh, focus only on the orientation so after the orientation and after on this discussion about the mac uh, the core syllabus of this course we will proceed to the topic so we will start with the chapter one so for example here after this uh, discussion about the course syllabus later on we will discuss about the um, related topic about the macro perspective for example in the learning objectives for chapter one our objectives is you must define the tourism and hospitality and explain their significance in the global economy and also you will identify the key sectors within the tourism and hospitality industry so this is our goal and this is our objectives that after um, listening to the discussion and the you will undergo the teaching and learning activities and assessment tasks expectedly that you will able to define tourism and hospitality and explain the significance in the global economy and also you can able to identify the key sectors within the tourism and hospitality industry so we will discuss on the chapter one about the introduction to the macro perspective of tourism and hospitality so we will chart in, we will start in the chapter one about only the introduction so what are under the introduction of macro perspective of tourism and hospitality we will define the tourism and hospitality that is the basic number two we will talk about the importance of tourism and hospitality industry what are the advantages of having tourism and hospitality industry in the particular place and the third one we will discuss about the scope of the macro perspective what are the only scope for macro perspective because in the future you will also undergo or you will take a course um, entitled micro perspective so we did we discuss first about the macro perspective the bigger uh, view about the tourism and hospitality so in the side of the content or course matter we have the time frame here we have two hours six hours and etc and on the other side we have teaching and learning activities what are the uh, learning activities or teaching styles used by the professors so we have the lectures and discussion simulation exercises technology integration and assessment based discussion so these are the possible learning activities that your professor yours truly will going to apply and on the right side again this is the um, learning or teaching activities possible learning and teaching activities that will use by your professor and the assessment task so after the discussion okay after the discussion demonstrated or uh, done by the professor using this um, learning and teaching activities after that we will assess you we will test you if you really learn the discussion lecture and etc so what we are going to do the students will create a multimedia presentation that highlights the economic social uh, economic sociocultural environmental and technological aspects of the industry so you will present the findings through a multimedia presentation and a written reflection so expectedly after the discussion you also have a quiz via google form and the assessment task is different we will do this in the last part of the chapter one so again you will have a weekly 
uh, test or weekly quiz via Google Form in every discussion online. But in the last part of the content or course matter, for example, in the last part of Chapter 1, again, we have the subtopic here. We have three subtopic for Chapter 1. The last subtopic is scope of the macro perspective. So expectedly, after the discussion of the last part of the chapter 1, you will undergo this assessment task. Okay? So, so on and so forth. So we will also discuss about the chapter 2, economic impact of tourism and hospitality. And we will not read all of this because we will have limited time. So chapter 2, about economic impact of tourism and hospitality. Chapter 3, sociocultural impact of tourism and hospitality. Chapter 4, environmental impact of tourism and hospitality. Number 5, chapter 5, technological advancement in tourism and hospitality. Chapter 6, we will discuss about the government policies and regulations. Chapter 7, about the global trends and challenges. And then the last chapter for chapter 8, we will have the conclusion. So as you can observe, we have here the global trends and challenges, government policies and regulations, technological advancement, tourism and hospitality, environmental impact of tourism and hospitality, sociocultural impact of tourism and hospitality, economic impact of tourism and hospitality. And yeah, so these are the scope of macro perspective to the hospitality and tourism industry again this um, title in the chapter are the scope of the macro perspective of tourism and hospitality again the focus of our discussion we will discuss how these different groups or how these different sectors affects the hospitality and tourism industry vice versa okay also the hospitality and tourism industry how the affects the different sectors or groups okay and lastly the bottom part of this table as you can observe above we have the references these are the references that i got to have these different chapters or topic or subject matter and under the references, we have integration of values. These are the values that we need to obtain so that we can have the fully understanding of our course. And we also have the grading system here, 50% passing marks. So for example, if we have quiz 1 to 10, the passing score is 5. If we have a 100 uh, test, the passing score is 50. If you get the score below 50 so you will have a failing grade and number two major examination as we also we have major examination assessment we have midterm exam and we also have final exam and we also have major outcome based project so you will undergo or you will have a project outcomes based project and we have class standing the quizzes laboratory activities and other outputs performance for example the google form and class participation during the face-to-face -face class and we have the classroom policy so you must read all of these um, policies for example in academic integrity cheating is zero tolerance I any evidence of cheating will result in a zero grade for the assignment or exam so you must be careful for example if we will have an assignment or quizzes via google form just like for example an essay so you must create your own assignment without copying or cheating okay because i have a system or application that can determine if you copy your assignment to your classmate or you just copy paste from the internet so it must be your own idea so if it is copy face paste from the internet or copying from your classmate i will give you a zero grade so this is part of the classroom policies and classroom conduct please be respectful of your classmates and instructor by minimizing distractions during class okay so you will just read all these reminders we also have attendance make up work 
cell phones, electronic devices, and calculators. Work hard and ask questions to do exercises. Okay, so you will just read all of this because we only have limited time. So we are done discussing about the uh, what is inside of the course syllabus of this course macro perspective. So this is the last part, part two of this discussion about the course syllabus. So I hope that you have learned on this um, discussion and don't forget to answer the evaluation quiz. Bye-bye.